So I've got one of these map lights in a 1984 Fox body that doesn't work. And let's look at why it doesn't work. So the way this is set up is there's a couple power leads coming in through the roof. And the screw that holds this side of the panel in goes through one power lead. And the screw that goes right here goes to another power lead. So this is your power for your main light. And this one is your power that goes to a switch to run your map light. And they both share a ground through the other screw. The way that switch works is you've got a cap, a spring, and a disc. So there's your contactor there. And when it's sitting on here, the spring normally pushes this all the way down. There's a little pin that goes in this hole. And it sits like that. The spring sits on top. And against the cap, the spring pushes this contact down, making the connection. And then from the other side, when you fold the map light up, it pushes the pin up, and it separates the contacts, turns the light off. So what had happened on this one is just a whole bunch of corrosion. Um, it had been in the up position, separated for so long, that corrosion could build up on the surfaces. This car sat for I don't know how many years, but that allowed corrosion to build up. And so when I opened up the map light and tried to use it, I had no continuity from this connector to this connector. So I knew that there was the problem with the switch. Just to verify that the contacts are good and clean. Got this on a continuity setting. And I should get a beep going from this plate to this plate. And there we go, we've got continuity. So this should be fixed, but when I had it apart, I noticed one other issue. On this contactor, there is a, uh, a little rim down here that when you push this up to turn the map light off, it pushes against this. Well, it's mostly broken off. So I'm gonna sketch up some measurements and go 3D print a new one. All right, well now I got some dimensions made up. I'll make a 3D print. I've got everything, you know, pretty accurate. Sometimes with a 3D print, they'll, uh, they'll print a little oversized on the OD or a little undersized on the ID. Well, let's go make a drawing and print it out. I don't think a couple tries to get it right, but there's what was in there. There's what we got. Just like brand new. Let's use a soldering iron to melt the plastic back together. And there we go. Everything works. Let's get back in the car. Oh, there you go, guys. Like and subscribe for more. See you then.